Hey, good morning to everybody. Colin Quinn in studio. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. How are you, Colin? Hi, guys. Thanks for having me in. I hear you're playing governors out there on Long Island. Next, Next weekend, weekend, me huh? and Tim Gage, my cousin. Oh, when? I got beat up by Anthony's uh, redneck brother. <laughs> Back in the childhood days in Ron Congerman. Anthony's Apparently. brother used to beat uh, Tim up. Yeah, he used to beat him up. He said he was like a biker and stuff, which Anthony denies today. I don't know. He was. He probably asked for it. Was he drunk? <laughs> no, he didn't. No? <laughs> was he drunk? I don't know. Either my brother or he was. Someone had to be drunk if you're in Ronkonkoma. <laughs> I don't think Joe was ever a biker, right? Did he have uh, the biker mentality, at least? Yeah. yeah. Joe had motorcycles and stuff. He did. Okay. Yeah. That's sure. true. That's when you guys in the biker game when he goes, he had motorcycles and stuff. And stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so and stuff. He enjoyed the lifestyle. He, it's a riding club. <laughs> <laughs> riding club. Hey, uh, before we really get into <laughs> it with Colin Quinn, I got to play some primetime gossip with uh, oh. Sam Roberts because it might lead to an update today. That's what we're hoping for, okay? All right. We're back with more primetime gossip. Just when you thought the Anthelini Express had come to a halt, not so fast. We found out that the relationship became complicated recently when Joe found a friend of Anthony's who was hanging out in his closet. But before the two could call it quits, Anthony has one more assignment that he needs to complete. What we learned was that uh, a couple things left Anthony's house that shouldn't have left the house after the breakup. Yeah. And for Anthony to get these items back that he really wants back, I must exchange uh, goods and services. Right. Uh, you have to pick up $500 worth of dry cleaning or yes, something like that. Yes, worth of dry cleaning. And, 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 and buy a new camera. And a new digital camera. That's right. Dry cleaning and electronics. I'm sure that's a piece of cake for such a fancy radio millionaire. And everyone's wondering, how did it go, Anthony? Well, it went uh, very uh, smoothly. I had no problems whatsoever. There wasn't any arguments. Very good. Um, uh, because uh -huh. I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the trip was just too much for Mr. Anthony to make. Luckily, he was able to acquire the services of his manservant, Keith, and after nearly a week, gave an update on the property exchange situation. Is it over? Did the hostage, ex hostage ex uh, exchange take place? Well, oh, uh, Keith, yeah, uh, was over the house yesterday supervising some uh, construction. Okay. And um, he reminded me of the situation. I uh, got some cash, and uh, apparently Keith is going to take care of the exchange. Gonna. That's right. The exchange still has not taken place. And why? Is Anthony still hanging on to those shiny memories of the days of Anthelini? Or is he just lazy? We can't be sure, but in the meantime, Anthony is building a secret extension onto his magical castle for his mystery guest. Building a hidden closet, a hatch, a secret, a false wall in the back of the closet that can be opened up with a press of a button. Maybe he really is just lazy, but looking into the future and... Maybe don't give the next one your house key and alarm codes. Keep it locked as PTG will be back with all the latest breaking news in and around the Opie and Anthony universe. Mm. And there you go. That's wow. The, that's how we left it yesterday. Yeah. And now uh, Everett's still on hold. Well, let's let uh, Everett uh, ask the question. Everett in Canada, how are you? Great. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. Uh, good, eh? I just want to say, you guys... You make me laugh all the time. I love your channel, and it sucks on the weekend when we get preempted because I haven't listened to any music on this XM since I got a year and a half ago. Yeah, well, I was supposed to be on. Yeah. Me and Danny was supposed to do a secret show. and I, I heard the last one. It was great. Of course it was. Uh, but actually, I was just wondering if it went down and if Keith ended up having to draw a gun over the door. <laughs> Even Canada's involved. Family, all, all the Italians are throwing spaghetti out the friggin' window and shit. <laughs> Look at you cursing. Yeah. Well, it's not till great, nine. Great morning show. Yeah. All right. So thank it's, uh, four o'clock in the morning here. So. All right. All right. So, all right. All right. So, thank you, Everett. Uh, well, silly Canadians. Anthony, did yes. it or did it not go down yesterday? Up. Uh, wow. This just this just in this just in on the iPhone. FYI. FYI. Good. And this is from uh, Keith. Okay. The exchange goes down today <laughs> at about 5 p.m. I'll see you later. 
It was supposed to happen yesterday. Yes, it was uh, very busy yesterday. Yeah, I guess uh, Keith is a Keith is a busy man. Yeah, you know, he's, but he's, Keith is a go getter. So why is he stalling? He's not stalling. He should have had this done already. Keith is very busy. He's got a job. He's got uh, you know he he's uh, my my pretty much my uh, personal assistant. Takes care of all my business dealings around the house. Yeah, has to remind me to take the garbage and recycling out. And is that a cop anymore? Of course he is. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't be bringing this up on the air. It's probably not good. For you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't think. I don't think cops are supposed to have side projects. <laughs> no, <laughs> he just mentioned ones. Yeah. yeah. Keith has been a good friend of mine for many years, so it's yes, you know it's a, a friend, friend thing. thing. Every cop out there has a side project. They just don't talk no. about it, yeah. especially on national radio no. shows. It's not like he's doing anything uh, illicit. National radios that all the cops listen to. <laughs> right. No, nothing illegal or going on. <laughs> he just takes care of stuff. He right. he knows a lot of people uh, uh, that I, I need uh, to do business with. You don't want to mess with that three quarters. They don't like that one bit. <laughs> no. Well, out no fury like a cop who gets his three quarters mentioned. Three <laughs> quarters <laughs> mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Anthony, now uh, this this whole relationship you had with Jill was very public, and it was uh, it was on the radio. Yes, yeah, Sophie, it was. It made uh, a lot of the tabloids, uh, the newspapers, the gossip columns. David Hinckley, you're right. David Hinckley yesterday had yeah. a that go getter. David Hinckley, <laughs> he got the scoop. Had a report. Ugh. He said a major radio program. Yeah, you saw yeah, that? he didn't even say the Opie and Anthony show. I think he doesn't like us. That's fine. Anthony. Yeah. We don't like you. We don't think you do a good job with your dumb a, radio column. There's such a misconception here. I wasn't stashing a girl in a closet. She went in the closet of her own accord because that's where the clothes were. It's like Boeing, Boeing. That play. Boeing, Boeing. <laughs> they had that play. It was based on a 60s like, drawing room comedy. Oh, I just go, here, no, not under the bed. And there's a girl under there. One girl's behind the drapes. <laughs> One of those old wacky, yes. <laughs> like, it's a mad, 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 yes. mad world kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't Jerry Lewis in that or something? All well, those guys were. Sure. But I think uh, because this was such a public relationship that maybe the hostage exchange should happen live on our show. I can't see that happening, really, to tell you the truth, quite frankly. Why not? Well, I don't. I think there's um, because you would be un uncomfortable. I wouldn't say. I think every everybody would be uncomfortable. I think everybody would be very. I love being uh, uncomfortable. Everybody except you uh, would be uh, happy about the uncomfortability. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's one of those things where it's uh, you can't. Um, there might not be enough good humor left <laughs> for. Um, Ah, yeah. For a meeting like that to take place and, and come off as um, friendly or or anything. Not everything like that. we do has to be uh, about humor, my friend. I say at least she wouldn't go for that though. She probably would. Why don't you text her? What? And see if she's no. <laughs> and see if... you're insane. <laughs> Want me to text her for you? I'd sooner have he's right it's other right. people come yeah. here. Uh, yeah, let me let me see if I can put some perspective on it. Okay, there's probably two or three people I could name that I would like to bring in here and maybe have you have a discussion Whoa! with. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> actually, I would do that in a second. No problem. Yeah, no effing problem. Mm. I no love the fact that problem. nobody even mentions that to Norton because you know he would have no problem with it. Yeah. You could bring any skeleton in his closet and go, yeah, bring him on. Oh, Norton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I like he the fact you said bring him on. <laughs> bring him on. <laughs> yeah. I said, I said, I said, bring him on. No, yeah. He's more accurate the way Jimmy said it, I think. <laughs> uh, let's say hi to Brian and Philly. Uh, hmm. The first place Phillies. Uh, <laughs> hi, Brian. Yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. Brian. Yes. I know him. When you do this uh, hostage exchange, is he going to relinquish your manhood? Why? What are you talking about, sir? I just wanted to know. I mean, you sound like a better person without her. That's what? all I got to say. Really? Yeah, you, well, you're a better you're person say without you, her. You're trying to say you don't like the naked fear Anthony's been displaying <laughs> since the breakup? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's go, boys. Uh, <laughs> Anthony's not. No, he went the other way. A lot of, a lot of confidence and, like... Yeah, but there's still a little him. part of him that's, you know, very, uh, you know, r rightly so, very hesitant. Well, yeah, you know, I am kind of hesitant. I don't like uh, the, uh, you know, the uh, the woman scorned thing is kind of... Yeah, you're damn right. That's one of these shaky situations. You've got to go home. She'll kill him. But so, you know, <laughs> you got to go home. <laughs> She'll kill him, but she won't. Roll. She won't let him go. Yeah. We are not animal. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, yeah, it's it's one of those situations where um, I, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to push things. That's why a lot of people are like, what the hell are you doing? 
You don't have to get it's your stuff. Do you don't have to get her the dry cleaning well, and you, the, the camera and stuff like that? It's like luck. Luck. Yes, you do. I know, if 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 I walked in on that, if the situation was was reversed, I sure as hell wouldn't be getting the dry cleaning on the camera. Sure, you're, but it's a situation, you know. You're a cuckold. You'd probably service the bull. <laughs> the bull. <laughs> I love how it's a bull. <laughs> service the bull. Get a cream puff. What do they call them? A cream cr pie. Cream pie. Uh, <laughs> you'd make sure that everything was prepared for the bull properly. Oh, <laughs> oh <my> God. God. <laughs> Get me ready. Get me ready. Uh, oh, God. Get him ready. I am the furthest thing from a cuckold. <laughs> Looks like someone was uh, surfing the net last night. No, it was actually pretty good last night. Uh -huh. uh, a little bit of IM chat. Yeah. Uh, nice. Oh, yeah? Yeah, got a massage that ended with nothing. It was awful. Really? <laughs> Not even a blub. Nothing. <laughs> blub. Oh, I don't do that. Tee hee. Not a glub glub. Glub glub. It's the fun of a massage if no one's humiliated at the end of it. <laughs> I like that small talk you have to make at the end, like, we didn't just engage in prostitution. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we should get uh, Sam in here because uh, are you following this David Blaine thing there, Colin? Oh yes, he's in the park. I can almost see his place from my house. Really? Oh, are you exciting. a fan or not of this of this dope? Well, I this mean, hack, uh, this hack. I don't understand what it is he's trying to do exactly. I never do. It's always like he's always suspended on something. But then they're like, and then after that, this, and I'm like, well, what does that mean? You know? Yeah. Well, every know. stunt is why is he allowed to do this? Because it, there's nothing to it. Yeah, he gets these permits, I guess, from the well, city. Like, didn't he stand on a platform that was what fifty, sixty, seventy feet up in the air? Mm -hmm. Stood there. Well, well, who, what's that about? He's standing on a platform. Ooh, yeah, Wait, thrilling. I think, a bodyguard just walked. I think Charles Taylor is coming into this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Patrice has made his way into the studio. Oh. Patrice, you want to join the discussion? You want to hang Patrice out? Patrice O'Neill. You want to just hang over there for a minute or two? You, the, he's again. reading Feds. He's reading Feds, Feds magazine. I think Patrice is you getting are his what an intellectual. I think he's getting his thoughts together because you get. I, I'm sure you're going to have some questions for Anthony. This is the sharpest dressed guy now uh, these days. Is it, what uh, happened to the jerseys and the the crap? You are just. You look like a gentleman. You are a gentleman. He does not look like a '60s numbers runner. <laughs> yeah, he's got he's got like the family crest up on his. Uh, he is a real <laughs> over his heart there on his jacket. He made a decision with his that life. That's good. He 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 but decided typical, to change his whole look. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? It's that I look like, of like this. yo this is material. This is how we do it. What a gentleman. Right. I think I th <laughs> it's what? like the material. Wait, get on, get on, Mike, uh, Patrice. Uh, you know that jacket looks like the rug that uh, young Clemenza and Vito Corleone <laughs> took out of that guy's house. <laughs> What's up, Patrice? I think, Morning, fellas. How are you? I think he's. I, uh, Anthony, I think he turned the corner the day he came in here with the Pink Panther T-shirt. Yeah, yeah, I think that, that might was, have done it. I think uh, that was the last day of the old Patrice and and the first day of the new you wore a Pink Panther T-shirt. Oh, it yeah. was, and, we, a and it had giant, sparkles on it. Giant white. I tell you what it is. I wear with a Pink Panther, a pink Pink Panther on it uh, with sparkles. Yes, you probably yeah. stole, that was probably the old Jill Nicolini wardrobe. It sounds like. <laughs> I realized I was irrelevant. Oh, um, really? Yeah. In terms of youngness. You, I'm you, just, you I'm now trying to catch up to the fact that I'm no longer a uh, actual relevant person in terms of young people. <laughs> oh damn! Some I of us should figure that out. I see you. You probably walk down the street and people probably look at you with this. I don't know, with a, like a look of, uh, hey, look at this no, guy. They still see me class as act just a big black guy. They say, really? see me the same way. Just go to the other side of the street. Yeah, I'm just the lock leader. The doors. I'm just the leader of the guys with, <laughs> the, with the football jerseys now. They don't. <laughs> I'm still a drug dealer. You come by every dealer. so often and collect the money the kids with the candy <laughs> yeah, have. Right. All right, give me that. Give me <laughs> that. <laughs> Selling the M and M's. I'm yeah. still something foul, not a businessman. <laughs> I like Colin dresses like he just crawled out of the hamper, <laughs> and he gets more respect. <laughs> <laughs> I, li I like to think that Patrice is a candy czar. That would be a hilarious. Candy czar. <laughs> just just yeah. shaking down the kids. For his Why do y'all know about that? That is so awful. <laughs> Why? Who do you think they 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 bother with that crap? Yeah. Whitey. For our, for our gymnast. We need it for oh. our school. We need it for our gymnast school. Really? What? Whitey. What black gymnast? Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> it's 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 May or June, and they're they're collecting money for a basketball trip. Uh, you know, I'm, we're not we're <laughs> white, but we're can not I, can stupid. Can I say hi to everybody? Yeah, I haven't yes. seen you guys, and I haven't seen Colin in years. In years? Wow, years, long time. Hello, Colin. How are you, man? He won't, he won't even look at you. Is there well, a problem? Why would I, 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 I didn't invite him to this party? This phony bastard. 
Let me explain something to you. I no. First of all, Howard Hughes, n stop trying to be mysterious <laughs> with even your like friends. <laughs> How dare you not invite me to your corny barbecue, which I would never go to anyway. That cheap. Behind the counter, it's meat because you always get something. The, of ghetto. the last <laughs> party we finished. went to, the last party you we went to, sausage. I heard he went to the Himalayas. Or he's always trying to do some <laughs> Aztec-y. Stop, just stop trying to find yourself, stupid. Wait, you went and to the talk to your friends. He's lying. Some oh, okay. fat farm. He's always doing yeah, something. I went to a health place for two weeks. I was a little <laughs> under the at, weather. You, shut up, stupid. Stop trying to say you got cancer so we don't jump on you. <laughs> <laughs> trying to save his hair from falling out. Stop. We're your friends. Call us and we'll help you through. You chalky shut dead up. man. I called you three times. You, I swear you to call God. me never. I you called ca three times. Every time he goes like this, I got to get your number of somebody. Like, I can't. You think I'm one of your acolytes? I don't care. Uh, Next time I see you, I want to cut your hands off and I heard to an is, African you know, village. Is, uh, we, had a, uh, we, had a, <laughs> we had a conversation. I heard, Colin. It was almost like we were crime figures. I heard there was a disrespectful move made towards Colin Quinn. I didn't invite him to the. But there's some people who are un are are invited unsaid. Collins won. There's some people that would oh, need to be God, invited. What a phony. But he's one of these guys that just hides in his clamshell and just pops up to be mysterious every five seconds, and then he just disappears again. Uh, but Patrice, why should I mess with my self esteem where, and invite this old man? Your self esteem. Won't come? Wait, where was my invite? Wait, no, the exactly. Last, no, the last time you had the, a barbecue, exactly. this whole discussion went down. I go, will you invite me to the I'm, next barbecue? Because you said, if I invite you guys, I know you're not going to show. And I said, I would absolutely lie. show it. comes another lie. I would show up to Why? your barbecue. <laughs> Let him and you invite, you invite him next, I'll invite you, you next time. You invited Jimmy. When and Jimmy showed up. It, it just, it Why don't you go to your barbecue? There's, there's the excuse I have. You know, you have an excuse for something. It makes sense to you. It yeah. doesn't make sense to the world. <laughs> right. And I'm, I'm not even going to try. I'll dig myself deeper. You shouldn't try because you're in the I didn't physically invite this jack. <laughs> oh, oh, so I was supposed to take you. I was Wait a minute, let me tell you how the delusional he is. Right. Wait a minute, let me tell you how delusional he is. Safari. He, it was a party. This is the, the, we uh, over Nick's. Nick's had a barbecue. Nick, Nick uh, DePaulo had a barbecue. I wasn't invited. He invited I you. Know. You, he, you, he got, you were invited. That's where you went to your, to some other retreat to find yourself again. Uh, it, stop. First of all, finding yourself. Call your friends, and we'll find you for you. Stop. <laughs> oh my God. Secondly, you know what he did. He You're got not my mad. Friend. Here's what he did. He got mad. You're not my friend. He got mad that I was headed to Nick's house. Listen to this delusional fool. Me? That he, I was headed to Nick's house and didn't call him mm. to ride with me. Who does that? This is who really calls to make story. sure this someone is, needs needs a ride. The story's so like a year and a half old, but it's, it's yeah, it's, it's well, ridiculous. Yeah. It's totally warped. You know what? You you were angry that you didn't. Right. I didn't yeah. tell you to, uh, that I'm riding up to the cookout. Give Colin a chance. What what do you have to say for yourself, Colin? Nothing. Like I said, <laughs> I forgive you. You're not my friend. They listen not, to him. He forgives me. Mind your me. business. And you know what can I tell you? He forgives me. For what? You called me up and begged forgiveness. That's the only reason I said I forgive uh, you. Is it exactly. <laughs> And no, no one in America believes that. Listen, right now. What? You called me up and begged forgiveness. I said, Colin, listen. I was in North Carolina. I said, Colin, I yeah. feel bad for you, and I'll invite you to any. I'll I invite feel you. bad for I'll you. I'll invite you to breakfast I'm having by myself from now on. You, you really are a gutless fool. <laughs> <laughs> you would... <laughs> I really, your people have really pushed it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Their level of disloyalty to the white man who's done everything for you. Uh, I hope your boy wins. And then we can watch you crumble because he'll last about a year before he gets lazy and bored and stop showing up. Good. I'm talking about Barack. I, I know who he is. <laughs> who else is running? I pray, yeah. I pray he's the president. White people are scared he's going to be. Oh. Uh, Nobody's scared. I love the paper, by the way. They go, hey, 50% of white people won't vote for him because he's black. What about the 96% of, of black people are voting for him? I knew him. I had Anthony on my side. Just that. because he's black. I don't believe that. Oh, please. <laughs> believe that. I absolutely don't. Believe that. I, I wish that was true because it should no, be. No, it is. Yao Ming makes it to the All-Star game every year, and he's a bum. Yo. He voted in by Chinese. What about why Yao Ming? Get, why, why can't he get voted in by black people? should vote for the black president. Yo, what about what Yao you? Ming? Yo. Why did you what quit you cutting off? Why did you quit attacking the one kind of food that you eat daily? For breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> Nothing? First of all, <laughs> why are you Robert Downey Jr. from Tropic Thunder? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Oh, Jesus. I told you he sleeps in a coffin. <laughs> he doesn't even know what that movie is. Why are you talking of his... to him? We love that uh, Tropic Thunder, he's right? He's six years behind. Uh, uh, that Tropic Thunder was a blast.
just it was just me, Patrice, and Bob Kelly in a freaking. That was a good time in a freaking theater watching. <laughs> Where were you, Thunder. Colin? How come you did you? But get that's invited? what I mean. The one movie that Patrice has seen in the past five years, and he's going to reference it like everybody had to see it. <laughs> Hey, Tropic Thunder, he sleeps in a car, but he doesn't know that mediocre summer marginal hit. <laughs> <laughs> well, Colin, what was the last movie you saw? Oh, in the theater. Strange, in, in in the theater. theater. Strange Days with Angela Bassett. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What a night. <laughs> Vanilla Sky. Go ahead. Tell us about that. I can't that. remember. Was what happened at the end? I can't remember. A few weeks ago. Oh, I know what it was. That tar... Oh. Uh, bunny, bunny, yeah. house bunny, house bunny, house bunny. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I don't Anna Ferris, listen to him. House bunny. Okay. House bunny. You wouldn't see the Batman movie, but you saw that. Yeah. Why would you I was that? with somebody who wanted to go see it. Oh, oh, a young lady, special young lady, oh. Rupert. Oh. I'd like yeah. to meet her. Oh, yeah. It was the perfect example. The perfect people to go see it. A fourteen-year-old girl. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we could have double dated. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cut a hole in the bottom of the popcorn no. box. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we got Patrice O'Neill. This is what we got to do. We got to take a break. And I'm sure you might have a few questions for Anthony because you were there in the beginning. This is very interesting. Isn't it? All right, very save your thoughts, though. Get them together. Right after the break, we'll get into this, okay? Mm -hmm. Patrice O'Neill, Colin Quinn, Governor's next weekend. Yeah. Let's get some people out to Long Island to see Colin. And 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 his buddy that was beaten beaten up. My back cousin in the day. was beat up by t by Anthony's brother. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Small I world. mean, more than once he used to beat him up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Your brother was a damn thug. A bully. Yeah. Let's get yeah. the Kumias there then next week. <laughs> yeah. Put the Kumias in the front row. Yes. <laughs> How funny. You can just be. go up and punch him in the face. <laughs> Opie we'll see what happens this time. All right. Opie and Anthony are now back. Oh boy. Fired, bam, bam, fired, bam, fired, bam, fired, bam, fired. Bam. All right. You're checking out the Opie and Anthony Show. Colin Quinn in studio. Just called us up, said, hey, I want to come in. I think I'm the only one that doesn't do a Colin Quinn impression. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the fact that everybody's stealing Jay Moore's perfectly. It is Jay Moore. Jay, Jay Moore, Moore does it perfectly. <clears throat> he really get... does. He's got the material and everything. We still have that disc. Uh, Jay Moore doing Colin Quinn. We should just uh, play a little bit of that today because it, it's unbelievable how how well it he does good. it. Jay's but now not, other people are pretending they're doing me, but they're doing right. Jay Moore. They're doing Jay's. Well, that's what they did with his walking too. Everyone's doing Jay Moore's walking when they try to do uh, Christopher Walken, yep. right? And Jay Moore's calling the show in about a half hour to promote his CBS show, Unmarried Gary or Gary Unmarried, something yeah, like that, Gary right? Unmarried. Yeah, Gary. Eight thirty tonight. I do believe we want all the listeners to to take a peek at that. Patrice O'Neill in studio as well, and. Uh, We've been waiting for this day, Patrice. Can I promote something real quick? Sure. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, be, at, be at Vinny's Club this weekend, Stress Factory. Oh, Stress Factory. Uh, yeah, tomorrow, Thursday, 25th, 26th, 27th. Nice. The lovely Stress Factory. You don't have to promote. He already... Uh, I think it's going to sell out, my friend. I hope so. We've been getting the word out for everything. <clears throat> Thank you, beautiful. But uh, we'll see. Now, Patrice... Um, Patrice has uh, done uh, many shows uh, on uh, Saturday Night Virus and stuff. He's done uh, like uh, relationship shows mm -hmm. in his inimitable style. It's not just some guy getting on there and hearing the same crap you hear over and over again. Patrice has a very unique outlook on relationships. Based on happiness. And that's people, it. right, based on your own happiness. Based, based on happiness, yeah. that's all it is. And people call it, in and you are like, you know, people, people, they, they take your advice. I'm, uh, I'm very serious and I try to walk yeah. people through. I mm -hmm. try to walk mm -hmm. Jim through his his problems. It, yeah. Right. Anthony, it's brilliant. It's He's a, very wise. I've talked, talk talked to the lovely brilliant. Colin about his problems once or twice in his life. <laughs> Stop lying. Colin doesn't. <laughs> Stop lying. There's a problem in the studio. We'll get to it later because Colin won't even look at you. He's, he's, he'll be he, right. he he'll won't be even right. look at you. We're two alpha guys, and I love Colin. Yeah. I submit to Colin because yeah. I love him. He's he's like, uh, he's on a Palm Pilot now. He's, he can be. What are you? He should. He's is that a Palm Pilot? No, it's an uh, iPhone. <laughs> an okay. iPhone. No, it looked like a Palm Pilot. You got pilot any cool apps? <laughs> Did you download any cool <laughs> apps, <laughs> Colin? <laughs> How about the barbecue <laughs> app? Did you yeah. download that? <laughs> oh. disinterested. Oh. All right, but let's get into this. Patrice. <laughs> I'll text you my marinade recipe for chicken, stupid. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Patrice, you were, into the, you were uh, there in the beginning when the whole Anthony and Jill thing went Absolutely down. Absolutely condone you, it. You, well, no, no. Uh, let's go back a little further because Patrice is there when my initial relationship broke up that yes. I was in for eight years. Yeah. And Patrice then started. Oh, Colin's playing some music. Sorry. 
<laughs> I wasn't trying to, but go ahead. Yeah. He doesn't know. Older man doesn't know what button is this. He's just trying to figure out his iPhone. He's just trying to figure it out. I just want to take a phone call. Just let uh, early's 90 Bruce Willis head sit there and <laughs> oh, figure it out. <laughs> the sad thing is I actually did that a compliment. <laughs> I was like, hey, that's not bad. <laughs> we found him handsome. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Patrice is there right from the start, and then uh, kind of, you know, giving advice the start of, on where yeah, it the, should the go. The destruction of the other relationship. Right, right. Which I condone completely. That was just done. Yes. That was done. And then all of a sudden, all right, now I got some free time on my hands. I'm looking. Uh, I want to I wanna scope out the scene and, and find some uh, female companionship. And uh, Patrice steps in and start. You actually were saying there's a certain girl type of girl mm -hmm. that I should be looking for. Absolutely, and you've done that. Instead of what I was kind of which looking was, at. Which was the, the king of a disgusting kingdom, which was pal talk. <laughs> These low lives, <laughs> nobody, greasy nothings that have nothing to do but their bottom feeders. I mean, no offense. <laughs> no offense. I'm sure none taken. No offense, but I'm saying in terms of, not everybody on, on pal talk, I'm saying in terms mm -hmm. of your access you you uh -huh. you were a bigger man than you thought you were mm -hmm. and 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 the young lady gave you a bit of con let me tell you jill ulti yes yes ultimately he doesn't call her a young lady though I go, in his Jesus. world she's not a young lady i i never said anything about that <laughs> his, well no 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 in his world she's grandmama <laughs> hey <laughs> hey man i told you I, me and my girl had a big argument cuz she I, I got she listens to the show every day mm -hmm. Anytime she keeps me, she is like a the TMZ of this show. <laughs> because she, like a lot of women that are with African American men, gets up early for work while he lies in bed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> what's wrong with that? I wow. like it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, Colin. I can just see him getting up, getting dressed every day. <laughs> the ironing board out in the bedroom. He's lying there sleeping. <laughs> well, he's the candy uh, czar. Well, the candy czar doesn't yeah. have to get up early. And I'm a comic. He collects a knife. <laughs> he's a Shut comic. up, stupid. <laughs> All right, good. Take your lumps and move on. Yeah. Yeah. Does she like I'm not the just going to play possum. Huh? Does she like the show? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You uh, shocked and I'll get add two cents, stupid. Maybe you forgot about you just, me. You just relax. <laughs> forgot about Dre. Why don't you go check your prostate or something, Colin? There's something going on. Oh, Jesus. Don't give me jokes from Don Rickles. <laughs> check your prostate. Do you feel how mad he is? He's yeah, yeah. really hurt. Yeah. I'm inviting him to the next one. I swear mm. to God. I'm kind of hurt, too, because I told you're you last time. I'm like, you're just not invite a, you're me. Not, you're not really hurt, but I'm going to invite you. No, I really am. I wanna, I wanna but you got an open invitation. I'm gonna, You don't have an open invitation, Colin. I'm going to invite with the, you. The problem with an open invitation. We got so much going on today. Opie and Anthony, of course, Jim Norton, of course, uh, Patrice O'Neill, and Colin Quinn piping in when he feels like it. This place is a beehive of activity. <laughs> it sure is, Colin. It <laughs> sure is. What do you, uh, we weren't able to ask you. What do you think of Jay Moore's impression of you? It's amazing. I, I was here last time when you guys showed it to me. Yeah. It's hilarious. We got another uh, track we'll play for everybody at the end of this break. We like him better than we like you. Oh. Oh, Jim, you haven't said oh. anything all day, and that's what you start with. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, well, Jimmy's like very quiet you. today. Why, he is, Jimmy? He's right, a little I'm enjoying dazed. Yeah, I'm sometimes you got to just sit back and enjoy what's yeah, going on. Even it's fun. Though, even though I guess you're supposed to pipe in, but yeah, sometimes you, it's smart just to shut your mouth yeah, and well, watch, maybe shouldn't watch be what's paid. going on. Maybe Jim shouldn't be paid today. Oh, Kyle, there's no reason to get that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to take the claws out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to go to the phones? Can I go for one more analysis of Patrice? Sure. The other quote, along with Jack Black, the other quote... I'll be walking down the street with my girlfriend, and women will go, I want a piece of that. <laughs> Can I, say this? Yeah. Can I want a piece. A like he's a Brazilian mixed martial arts, like 19 year old. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, but that's my irrelevance. Shut my up, I understand what you meant. Ir irrelevancy. I got it, my silly. My complete sexual irre irrelevancy to the women that I want to be relevant to. Irrelevant I, I want to jump in with an observation. Uh, you know, Colin's coming up with these zingers. Yes. And we're enjoying them and we're laughing, but Patrice will not allow the laughter. I know, exactly. But because he's but not he, allowed the laughter. You know what that is? He hasn't been is, around me in a long time. That is technique he's not used to number somebody. three on the stop it list. But you would never like that. <laughs> Who? You. But don't try to reverse psychologize me, sucker. You dirty, sucker. you dirty sucker. Since we're all going back in time, <laughs> sucker. That's how you do it. Yeah, that's right. When you, when that's you, right. When sparkle. You feel it, when you feel you it piling sparkle. on, you stop it. All right, listen. Uh, we're gonna hit the phones here. <laughs>
I think we got our 13-year-old uh, friend on the phone here. It's JC, right? Yeah. What's up, JC? He's 13 years old, Kyle. Really? What, what, is it for Anthony? He's, <laughs> he's been listening to the conversation here. What do you got, JC? All right, Patrice, you need to stop being a comedian. Just become a psychologist. If you figure his aunt's problem out, you figured out everyone. Hmm. Good point. Yeah. There the you kid go. Actually makes a valid point, and he's 13. Uh, All our other listeners are dopes. Let's go to Leonardo from Long Island. Hey. Leonardo, what's up? Good evening. Hello, Hi. Leonardo. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to uh, let you guys know that um, I think uh, I have to disagree with little Jimmy Norton. I think um, Jill actually took Anthony's truck and his belongings. I don't think she was, you know, so concerned about her digital camera and her dry cleaning. I think she was expecting... Anthony to come running after her, and, and I didn't think it was over in her mind at all at that point. The important um, thing is how he disagreed with me. I didn't, what did I say? Yeah, it, was, it was Patrice. <laughs> I agree with that Gindaloon, well, though. He's got a good point. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, you know what I, he's right. You know what I meant? Yeah. She, she was fully expecting uh, Ed to run after her. I think Patrice kind of made that point, sure. Sure. And I think uh, what I meant to say when I was disagreeing with Jimmy was I think Anthony could still get her back, actually, if he wanted to, if he played all. Well, it's not about him getting her back. It's about her running. She's going to come back. She's going to be begging you back soon. It's been a a month. Who cares? And and, and, and women plot time? That's That's nothing. (laughs) Women plot time. (laughs) Are you uh, serious? I would I, agree if it wasn't public. If it hadn't come out, what happened? Yes, but very people, sorted. But you want she might want Anthony back just so she could like uh, destroy him. Yes, yes. maybe that. Yes. But you gotta yes. always keep. Yes, yes, they always try. Women are like, you ever see Kill Bill, the uh, the second one? Oh yeah, and uh, that was a bloody movie. I said, what, my girl's the same way. She oh, just wants to poison violence. my rice. I constantly <laughs> poison. I'm rice. constantly trying to pull her eyeball out because she won't. <laughs> She won't obey, and she's going to poison my rice. She's out to kill us. They're all out to kill us. Jill is, was already out to kill you, so just let her keep trying to kill you. But she wants to kill you with your own love. She wants you to go, Jill, you're the best I've ever And she goes, mm-hmm. and it's, it's over. And then it's done, yeah. Yeah, all you got to do is stay two, three steps ahead of her, and it's easy. i just rather, you know, keep this the way it is, done. And do what? Keep having, you don't you oh, no, have the exchange superfluous might girls come today. in. And you right. pop them for a few, they be into you, and then you get smothered, and then you get rid of them. It's not a good thing. Just keep them around and stop giving them titles. <laughs> titles. At least, at least put them through basic training. You, as, soon as, as soon as the chick comes in, you're, you are a lieutenant. Like, you can't, you can't upgrade them. As soon as they walk in the door, Anthony. What do they got to start off as private? Hoes. Private ho. <laughs> private ho. Private ho. And Come then... on over, 2 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. All right, do that and get out. Yes, sir, sir. Yes, sir, Anthony. <laughs> Come over at 2. Do it till 2.45. Leave right away. No shower. No shower. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Shower at your own house, soldier. That's... So private ho. <laughs> Private ho. When they fall asleep, he kicks in the doorway like the sergeant. <laughs> Wake up, <laughs> ladies. Wake up. Let's hit the trash can. Get up now. <laughs> no, no breakfast for you. No <laughs> breakfast for you, soldier. <laughs> the private second girlfriend. The name is Charlie. <laughs> They're standing outside freezing in the underwear just like in the army. <laughs> uh, let's get a mic. <laughs> can I get a warm, a warm <laughs> face cloth? No. Out now. <laughs> sir, yes, sir. Let's go to Mike in Connecticut. Oh, Mike, hey. Damn. Hello, Mike. I love you. Love the show. Thanks. But listen, Anthony, you, you, yeah. you, you're a total hypocrite. Am I? Yeah, you say you want to play the field, but you went from Jill to this new girl, and now she's living in your house. So where are you playing the field? Good point. You went from one girlfriend to another girlfriend. He don't make them private homes. Uh, you just was saying yeah. that. It's not that he's a hypocrite, he's just a spineless jellyfish. <laughs> spineless jellyfish. He lets him put a clothes in there. <laughs> oh, Christ. Get from the closet out and get another bitch in there. <laughs> That's why he keeps building extensions. He's afraid to throw the girls out. He's building new places for him to live. <laughs> so, yeah, I just leave him in there and build new places yeah, on my house. That's... Oh, that's the I flew her in from uh, Dallas wing. <laughs> <laughs> Is this chick uh, from, from Dallas? No. And she wish she was from Long Island, just some chick. Where'd you meet her? Where'd you meet the Jill Nicolini destroyer? <laughs> <laughs> Jill Nicolini destroyer. 
I'll keep that under my hat for a while. In in the area, though? Uh, no. Really? No, very, very far away land. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, oh, Jesus. <laughs> and the sad thing, here's the, here's the thing that's <laughs> so sad. Yeah. I want to make sure that you're never going to see her again, Jill, <laughs> before I start really trashing her. Yeah. Because, you know, it, the sad thing is the pretending to like someone's <laughs> girlfriend Oh, well, yeah, but you've that's talked about I, that, I, yeah. I cursed uh, Norton out, because Norton is another one that will give women titles, and I'm like, look, Yeah, it's can't... usually prostitute <laughs> or escort <laughs> or, or <laughs> sir. No, you'll introduce... <laughs> Norton, you will introduce a girl as, like, j like, this is my girlfriend, and that's uncomfortable to your friends. Well, you know, my you... friends have to get... Like, whatever, I'm that... My thing is this. I don't care what my friends can introduce a chick as anything they want, and it doesn't bother me. It's irrelevant to me. So wherever I'm at with a girl, no one should care. No, it's not... No, it's like if I go, hey, Norton, this is my girlfriend, uh, such and such. You... There's a certain... Because you're my friend, there's a certain respect, and there's a certain status she has automatically because mm -hmm. she's your girlfriend. And if she's private hoe, she doesn't deserve <laughs> girlfriend... Like, hey, this is this is okay. Hey, hey, Norton's girlfriend. You 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 don't have yeah. to look out for a hoe. You have to look out for your friend's girl. True, but the only thing that matters is when your friend gives him that status. Like, I I've had two girlfriends in the last five years. I mean, I haven't had a lot of girlfriends in, in the last five years. I've had two girlfriends in, in I think five years, um, or maybe even longer. Probably since two thousand one. Mm. So maybe seven years I've had two girlfriends, both kind of recent. Cut to the chase. Jesus, nobody wants to hear your chronological order. That's the whole order. thing. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's taking a long time to get there. That was what? That was a... Hey, we got a... Maybe, I'm sorry, it was seven years. Actually, you know what? Six and a half. Shut up. <laughs> well, no, I was contradicting the point, though. It's like, if, if you know, it's like you give them a title when you feel like giving them a title, and then everybody has to kind of... Yeah. Whatever, and then when you're done with them, there's no more title. It's like good. It's like uh, the mafia when they go, "This is a friend of ours. Exactly. This is a friend of mine." Right? Yeah, you don't say how long did you know him and where'd you, where'd you meet? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's not that's you, like you go. That's my lady friend, or that's. If I said a, that's my lady friend, who my Clark Gable? That's yeah, uh, man, something. <laughs> she's something, a little gal I met. Something just. So, I've heard lady friend. I've heard. I've heard it too. I, from I've heard Jimmy say from lady Teddy friend. Pendergrass. <laughs> That's my lady friend. <laughs> <laughs> and Patrice is allowing the laughs now, which is good for everybody. Uh, Brad in Connecticut, uh, Anthony wanted to address Brad. So, uh, oh, yes. Brad, what do you got? Oh, God, now I'm scared. I'm, I'm only saying that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn. I love it. I'm scared. <laughs> so just hear me out. All I'm saying is this. With your marriage and with Joe, one commonality mm -hmm. was that they, they pushed you, or didn't push you, but because you didn't communicate, you ended up doing things you didn't want to do. So, whether you believe in therapy or not. Don't... What did I do that oh, I right. didn't want to... Right. Wait, wait, what did I do that I didn't want to do? Well, it get, sounds, get serious with Jill, like, maybe? Like, yeah, you yeah. got into a relationship. Well, no, 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 I don't know about that. I don't know those, uh, the happenings really with Jill, but it, in terms of your marriage, like, you would be forced to, like, watch, like... Movies and stuff, and oh, yeah. things you didn't want to do. Right. So my thought is that don't you think instead of perpetuating this, because really the only commonality between those two is that you didn't speak up. That it might help to maybe learn how to, like, say, I don't want to do certain things. Like, be more direct. Uh, right. And then you just end up in a big brawl anyway. Oh, <laughs> Anthony, wait, wait, wait! You... Hold, hold on, hold on, Patrice. But this guy uh, wants Ant to consider therapy, and 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 Ant was yelling about that just before yeah, the break. Yeah. So, what's your thoughts on therapy? Uh, I I think uh, if if you're somebody who wants to go to therapy, that's fine. Um, uh, I went to um, a couple of therapy sessions for couples yeah, therapy, couples which I got dragged into. With this, um, the last no, 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 not the last one. No, 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 no. This was with the girlfriend that I was, you know, with for eight years. Therapy's for um, girls. Yeah, they went. They went. She was therapy, going to therapy, therapy. Therapy is just to make you. Is is to is to take how you feel as a man and try to qualify it <laughs> to make you understand that being a guy is wrong. It's a That's bad it thing. Is. It's your gut feeling. Dude, it was the worst. First of all, she she's going to therapy. She was going to therapy. And then the therapist goes, why doesn't Anthony come in? Because I see a lot of things you're bringing up involve him. So why don't you bring him in? Ugh. So I'm like, you know something? I'll be a good guy. I'll go in for one of these, see what this woman's all about, and, uh, and do that. And then I find myself there like every week writing out a check to this uh, shrink just for for nothing for psychobabble the relationship ended anyway 
uh, and it was it, it did nothing good. But he, All it but, did was conjure up like nasty crap between the two of us. Like she felt and I felt that anything goes in this office. Some stuff you should just keep to yourself. You should keep quiet. And, and in therapy, all this stuff comes out where you hear things like, well, you know something? I'm not really sure I ever did love you. Um, this is Jill to you. No, no, no. This, no, no, this, this is not to Jill. This is Melinda stuff. This that came like, out in yeah, therapy? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's like, you know, I've started this thinking. This is the last one? And maybe, yeah. And then she goes, like, maybe no, it was twice. something like. No. No, that was an eight-year relationship, so it might as well have been a marriage, you know? That's everything but me losing all my crap at the end of it. Yeah, Thank let, God. Let Ant go. He's on to something. So it was like, so uh, she was like, yeah, I'm not sure if maybe it was just the whole uh, infatuation thing with uh, the radio. So I'm just sitting there, yeah, my eyes open, my jaw uh, uh, on the couch, just going, oh, really? Well, this is nice to know. When when uh, when were you going to tell know, me? When were you going to tell me this? This is eight years as, into it. As I'm dishing out like boatloads of cash to that shyster c-word mother of hers. Ugh! Did I hate that bitch? Ugh! The mother. The mother. Okay. I put teeth in her mouth. I want to remove them with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! She'd teeth? show up at she'd show up at goddamn family functions with a uh, uh, one. Friggin' brown tooth sticking out of her head. You know, I don't want to bring it over my mother's house and my parents' house with this goddamn friggin' mouth that looked like it should be licking a salt lick. <laughs> and, 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 and so. You so, bought her mother teeth because she. I bought her mother teeth, and not the kind you slap in, like implant screw in teeth. Oh it cost a bloody fortune. Oh, I'm so glad this is all coming out finally. It cost a fortune. I'm so glad. Eh? Yeah. Your mother's crazy. Well, dude, I don't think I really loved you at all. But yeah, let me uh, tap into that bank account. How, how much? How much earlier before y'all broke up? Did she, was she saying this? I don't think it was the last installment of the tooth money. No, it was uh, uh she, she, the it final was, molar got nailed in. It was yeah, final molar gets nailed in. She leaves. No, it was one of those situations where uh, the therapy was going on right <laughs> before we broke up. Toilet mouth. <laughs> it was right before we broke up. So we and we drive to the therapy sessions and we're talking, you know, whatever. We would get out of the therapy session, the door would slam. I'd shut the door. Now I'm not hungry anymore. I'm just like the the, the silent drive home. Because all this anger just comes out. And it's not, it's good. It's cleansing to get the anger out of you. No, it's not. But it is. It's you, to keep it in. It is good. You broke up. You got rid of it. It's yeah. Done. Yeah. See? It is. But, but and, let me tell you something. you're not holding on to any of the anger. She could have gone to the therapy by herself <laughs> and realized that she had to break up with me. Well, you go to I didn't have to be dragged down. And, and, and that yes, and I bought her sister a trailer. I'm, I'm just, I'm just putting signs up for Anthony now. I want to see, yeah, how much he wants. So you, uh, how far you want to go with this? Thing. I walked into a place, oh. a trailer in upstate New York, where she had uh, uh, her sister had uh, a baby, and the crib was being leaked into through a leak in the roof. So I'm there going, uh, what, what the hell is going on here? Yeah, they really can use something uh, a little better than this. Why don't we get him something, a trailer or something? Yeah. Jesus. All right, I'll, I'll check something out. I'll do it. It's just a constant barrage. You're like Chevy Chase in uh, Christmas Vacation. But you yeah. didn't, but you <laughs> didn't mind like... it when you was doing because you're that type of dude. No, though. I didn't. You but did... he's the king of white trash. He yes. buys feet and trailers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yes. That's why we got such a big audience. They can relate to us. Yes. That's, they what, he, that's what he's saying about the power talk. He's the king. Yes. I love it. That is Perfect. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I am the king of white trash. Dude, that love thing, though. When you go to college, wow. get stupid. <laughs> Aunt, that love thing, though. Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wow. She whipped that out. And then other days, it was like, you know, it was different. And then I'd get in there, and I'd start bringing up some stuff. Like, she was really pissed at me for my excessive texting. My excessive texting. Of to her or other people? Huh? Not to her. No. To just in yeah. general. To other people. I would I don't text blame her. other people. I got mad at Norton once at the cellar because he asked me a question. You're not having sex with Norton. That's what you think. Oh, you would have thought so. <laughs> you too. He was mad at me for two weeks. <laughs> but, I was mad. But at that point, there is obviously a suspicion that uh, you might be uh, moving ah. on, right? No, that's just I'm it. I'm asking. I don't know. That's just it. I ah. wasn't. First of all, I absolutely wasn't. Okay. And uh, I'm texting, and meanwhile, it was fine 
for uh, her to text 20,000 guys a day. But, you know, I'm texting one or two girls. Holy jeez, that was a big-ass problem right there. That was a huge problem. And, by the way, after we break up, she hooks up with one of the friggin' guys that I was that she was texting all the time and that I always had, knew there was a problem with. And me, I never touched the girls I was texting. At the time. I didn't know. Not <laughs> at the time or after the Jesus. time. Uh, like so I don't want to hear it. What a bunch of crap. The guy she was texting was uh, a guy you knew? Yeah. And uh, you think it was before or no? There was something going on. I'll never, I'll never deny uh, uh, that. I don't know if there was actual contact going on, but I knew there was something. I never trusted the guy. It was always like, you know, there too much. Yeah, you like, not literally there too much, but just, you could tell, guy friend. Uh, we talk about guy friend. That doesn't exist. Guy no, friend sits there doesn't. in waiting like a vulture. Yeah. Guy friend. Why does he do that to you? He's so, guy, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, let me tell you. You know what I would do? If I was lucky enough to have you as my girl. I have no woman I got, friend. Shut it. You have to Ugh. be completely non-effable. Hey, Dad. You have to be missing half your face for me to be your buddy and your girl. Uh, the worst. Out of here. Guy friends are the worst. Just guy friend. And then, uh, and then in, in, in that, that little twist, because uh, when I had to go to Colorado for Christmas, uh, uh, I, was, I, was t I was ordered not to text. That, no, no texting. Just to bring everyone to the table, that was when you decided to stay in a hotel while she was hanging out right, with her right. uh, sister, yeah, your yeah. husband, and, and I have kids. no problem her with her quotation I, sister. I have no problem with that sister <laughs> and that husband. Yeah. Believe me, they, they live they here in New York a, now. They have a good roof on their buddy, trailer. Buddy and Buddy and Jen, <laughs> no, a good roof on the trailer. <laughs> buddy and Jen and the kids, I, no, I love them. They're great. They do rule. I saw them they're, uh, recently they're great. on the on the side. They are completely different than. Uh, uh, the rest of that f family, so wow. I, I got no problem with that. And, and they have their uh, original teeth, and they're all good. Yeah, and Buddy's got, Buddy's a New Yorker. He's a real you know New York guy. He sounds a lot like a New Yorker with the name stuff. Buddy. Doesn't sound like a hillbilly at all. His name hey, is Buddy Basil Giuliano. Oh, so wow. watch you your mouth, you know, Paisan. Hey, hey Paisan. It shows you how ungrateful women can be, though. It's like, Ugh! you took good care of her. You didn't, he, Anthony didn't cheat. Like, he really no. didn't cheat. Everywhere, it, it sounds stupid, but first class everywhere. Treat her terrific. Whatever she Thank wants, you. buy her a Porsche. Thanks! Like, it only sounds stupid it, because we happened? imagine what you call first class, but go ahead. First you, class? <laughs> <laughs> Teeth? <laughs> she, was, she was treated like a queen. There you go. Absolutely. But yeah. she, was, she was treated first like that class. anyway. You're, you're a generous guy. I Anything that trickles down, to be. Is, it trickles right down to the queen. Dude. I tend to be. Yep. Uh, I, I try to be. I like, you're a generous I like people guy. being happy around me. I don't like people being miserable. And there came a point where Melinda was just miserable. Yep. All the time around me, which is like, all right, then it's time to move on. How do we not never time see to this? drag me into therapy? I never saw this. And I, ah, I'm I great at covering crap it. up. I've been a homosexual for five years. You never know. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Melinda. Oh, I, saw her. <laughs> let's do, let's I love get... the brown tooth thing, though. Oh, oh that's going to make God. Every time she opened her mouth, not only was the crap spilling out of it awful, but the, the, to have to look at the teeth. Ugh. You need to find a woman that's committed to being that's shyster. nothing. I gotta ask Anthony something. Uh, mm. So yeah, the trailer you bought, teeth, yeah. anything else? Teeth that you're now trailer. Regretting? Where'd you buy the trailer? Let yeah. me think. Uh, Did you buy anybody a spittoon? Uh, upstairs. <laughs> 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 yeah, there. there Looks like the teeth. Uh, oh God. You bought a go kart for the brother. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me go to Cece. Oh. She's a girl. We haven't had a woman on yet to maybe. Maybe, uh, I don't know. CC sounds like two women. CC. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. I have a little perspective. And right. I think all this is based on um, his, the way he was brought up, and his mom and dad's relationship. Uh, and, uh, sorry, women, I do. Uh, women always trying to find a way to make it. it Listen. No, no, I mean, it's because of the spaghetti <clears throat> throwing against the wall. That's why that? doesn't like confrontation, uh, but yeah, that's not why it's probably is. Ungrateful. We we do that because it's very difficult. <clears throat> it's very difficult. We don't want to be in love, Miss. That's that's the thing that women don't understand. Love and all that stuff is for you, because we start to care about you <laughs> enough to give it to you. But <laughs> what we I, want is void filling relationships. We uh, need we need our ego. Our, how I'm look at how a woman is sexy is because she just exists. 
How a man mm. is sexy is we have to interact. We have to, you know, women are I agree. women. women I agree with that. Women mm. are the TSA. Women are reactive to our attacks. <laughs> we're proactive. Yeah, we're trying to fly something into your building, and <laughs> and you're trying to you're you're only adjusting to what we're trying to do in terms of attacking you. Right. And they really, it, it, right. it's just. It, it, I get it. You agree. But, but your thing, Anthony, I swear to God, you need a girl, and this is what you have to tell her this, a girl that loves you for what you are, mm -hmm. and you're not going to commit to her. You have to have an uncommitted, committed girl, like a girl who's just committed to being nothing in your life, mm -hmm. but gets all the benefits Right, just being your girl. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean. Yeah. So you just have to tell her, look, I'm not gonna be with you. I'm not gonna be committed to you. You don't have to be committed to me, but she's committed to you. She's committed to your nonsense. All right, let's <laughs> let's go to Tennessee. We're heading toward another break. Dave, what do you got? Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, Dave. I think it's, I think it's time for all the message board people to just shut it. I learned today that Anthony's a damn good guy. Yeah, Anthony doesn't Aww. like dealing with his emotions, but in the end, he really is a very good guy. I might give and uh, does the right thing all the time. I might give credit to that uh, uh, chick there, uh, CC, on one thing: the confrontation thing. I don't like it. I don't like communicating. With uh, like like oh why didn't you communicate that you don't communicate enough because growing up I think it, it's true the only communication I saw was a bowl of pasta slamming against the wall near the phone uh, and, and uh, my mother uh, yelling um, the uh, your a uh, 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 bad word for uh, the male genitalia at my father and then my father calling her a bad word for female genitalia and that was their communicating. So that's all I know of communicating with uh, uh, your uh, significant other. So I'd rather just not. I assume all is going well until uh, Mount St. Helens happens. <laughs> I like that old codger that stayed in his house. Oh, it's been happening for years. Everything will be okay. Boom, the side of a mountain blows out. <laughs> and now what? Not only did I not know that you guys were fighting, I never saw them argue. I never saw you no, guys argue. No, we all didn't times. argue. Never saw you argue. We didn't. I don't argue. I don't yeah there'd been a couple of you know uh, heated discussions I would say but never arguing like I, I I'm not a look at a virus tour I'm not when, a yeller when you guy a virus tour a couple of yeah yeah you'd see that a couple of, of uh, times. like towards uh, the end yeah like yeah there was the, very, very there was some distance that was uh, happening near the uh, end there. Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> oh, All right, God we, we have to yeah. take another break we could continue this is way too good uh wow a lot of great phone calls Colin Quinn governor I'm get, yeah I gotta go to Fox now what why you didn't do anything yet. You, go to <laughs> you gotta go to Fox. Yeah. What's what going on there this weekend? He, My friend's doing... show. I said to do it today. What show? Rick Leventhal. He's doing some show. Yeah, that's okay. on at nine oh, o'clock, right? No one likes that. I gotta go home. What's that? No one likes Rick Leventhal. <laughs> yes, they do. You don't even know who that is. Exactly. So. That was the beauty of me saying that. Oh, uh, you're hot today. Uh, Listen, I gotta go. <laughs> all right. So Colin's gonna be at Governor's next weekend. We're all gonna check that. Wait, out. Oh, next weekend? You mean this coming Friday, Saturday? Or next week? weekend? No, next weekend. Uh, like a week from Friday. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Well, Come I, on, Jim. I got the it. Dates out, Colin. I'm confused. Come I'm on, Jim. Don't even need to give the dates. A week from Friday and Saturday, Thanks. Governor's on Long Island. Colin, what you doing Simple now for that. Thanksgiving? <laughs> I'll see you guys later. What you doing for yeah. Thanksgiving, Colin? All right, listen. I said I'll see you guys. All the plugs are on onaradio.com, by the way. We're going to continue with Patrice O'Neill, but as we go to break, yes, uh, in honor of Colin Quinn stopping by and giving us uh, some fine radio today, we got uh, Jay Moore, who called the show recently, doing his Colin Quinn impression. Yeah. More of this. Please put Colin in Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> guys, you know, obviously there was a rat in this whole operation, and I know it wasn't me. I'm pretty goddamn sure it wasn't you. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely freaked out in there, but he seems, I don't know, he seems pretty okay now. He's a big guy, I don't know. <laughs> Holy I mean, You're holding a desert eagle, and he's asking you if you want to bark all day. <laughs> Remember, you know, the killer, a guy like that doesn't have all this, you know, I'm going to just reach it. <laughs> 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 we need to get with Joe, get this guy to a hospital, he's getting blood on my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Finicky, I am when it comes to my LA gear sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Say the goddamn words, stupid. <laughs> Holy it's Colin God. driving around the valley with Bobby <laughs> Kelly in the back. <laughs> I'm gonna punch a man in the back. Did I block my stomach, man? <laughs> Are you gonna be okay, stupid? Well, you shut up, you're bleeding all over my car, you're dumb. <laughs> That dumb bitch, you know, if I gotta shoot some cop, if that's the difference between me doing, you know, 10 years, goodbye. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you know, that's what I talk about in the meeting today. I was really stressed out. I went to like five meetings in <laughs> ten minutes. <laughs> what I do is, well, hi, my name is Colin, and then I run out the room and go to another one. <laughs> I don't want to listen to anybody else talk. Cause they're boring. They're always, they're always outdo each other. <laughs> Holy, Holy shit. John, is Just that a perfect Colin? Colin? Colin decided not to leave because he wants to check out kosher sports. He loves the kosher sports bit. Uh, Patrice O'Neill, he's going to be at the Stress Factory this weekend, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, New Brunswick, New Jersey, Vinny's Club. Tickets are going to go real fast for this one, so I would I would call ahead and get your tickets reserved. Did uh, you say, like, hotcakes? I was like going to hot say hotcakes, hot Jimmy, yes. What's the number, Jimmy? Oh, uh, this is a good one. 732-545-HA-HA. -ha. It's like a laugh for 4242. That's right. Uh, Vinny and, is a hack. He's, he's, even his phone number is hacky. God, awful. he bugs me. He finally took that phone off the wall, though, thank God. No more funny phone calls. Well, Patrice will be uh, <laughs> talking about Obama. He's doing a lot of political stuff. <laughs> it's not even political. Mm. I'm just trying to trying to get the vote out. Sure, gather the troops. You Purely racial, by yeah. the way. You voting for him? As of opposed to what? Is. Yours with just hey, uh, not racial. Ninety-eight percent of the uh, blacks are voting for Obama. It's not going to happen. That's crazy. Uh, that is the, based purely who's, on race. Who's those other wacky 2%? 2% are the Republicans. <laughs> <laughs> those ones that they search for at the Republican National Convention. Absolutely. When they're, when they're just kind of panning the crowd looking for one Uncle Tom yeah. sitting there. Well, yes, I'm a Republican. Uh, Cameraman's getting whiplash trying to find a black yeah, guy. There's a the, black guy uh, in the I audience. I know y'all must have talked about it. I can't, I've never seen anybody so unrem as unremarkable as, as McCain. He just sucks. He sucks. And, and people He's vote for him. white. Just awful. See, he can, see, Ant couldn't get the energy. <laughs> Ant couldn't get the energy up to even argue that point. He, uh, Ant knows that. I can't believe I'm not. A, I'm not a fan of McCain or yeah. his little uh, well, floozy uh, vice Obama. president. Get it out the way. Because I like, um, I like keeping some of my money, which I'm already a fifty percent. The country uh, is finished. Hey, screw it. Yeah, the uh, dinner jacket guy. The country is, ain't is finished. Saying that the empire's done. He said yeah, that yeah. at the UN yesterday. Yeah. That, that uh, Iranian oh. nut. Yeah, he said uh, America's done, you know. The empire's just about empire. done. Well, you know something? It takes a while for an empire to crumble. Uh, it'll be long after I'm gone, so okay. I don't care. I'm just in Anthony mode right now. It's going to be cool to, to like, visit the ruins of Manhattan someday. That'll be cool. You know? like, yeah. you're, like you're <laughs> Bombed out <laughs> ruins. Out. That'll the be ruins. real. Look like cool I am a legend. Be. Right. You know. be great. We've seen enough movies with the Statue of Liberty's dresses over her head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> her book is all torn. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading that way, according to the dinner jacket guy. Hey, uh, what yeah. are we doing? Oh, Ant wanted to add one more thing before we try to move on. We got kosher sports with uh, David. Yes, David. David is here to do uh, uh, kosher sports. But first, Anthony remembered something else that was going on with this whole breakup thing with Jill. Yes, yes. Uh, well, things were things were you know taken. Remember, I brought that up, taken from the uh, the house, um, and I have to come up with some cash for some dry cleaning and a camera to get it back. But I did forget there was a few things um, that happened right afterwards on the same day that she came by to burn uh, uh, the other girl's clothes. Um, she went through, apparently went through, my Amex bills, my American Express statements, and uh, correlated certain dates that I maybe wasn't available to go out, Oof. or certain dates where she was away, and then looked and saw those dates and what I was spending money on. Hmm. Cassage. And some of Who'd them were... No, oh, some Thursday. were like uh, a restaurant... And then uh, there was a hotel Oof. Uh, Oof. in there, and it was circled, and then written on there was, is this, um, were you with one of your whores on this day? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, You'll have yeah, to explain that, was... that someday to an oh. IRS guy. <laughs> yeah, what is actually this? an accountant's question. <laughs> <laughs> you should have, on that one, you should have said, damn, Joe, good one. Yeah, wow. Damn. I know, that's like investigative journalism. Good one. What is she doing traffic for? She should be uh, doing it's, investigative it's journalism like, like, like Geraldo. It's kind of like she's uh, been there before, huh? Uh, I don't know. She knows where to go to I don't find, know, but uh, but the thought of, you know, going through the Amex thing was like, wow. You're amazing. When that happens, <laughs> you got caught in person, but you're Oh, my so favorite caught. clip of the day. I'm sorry. I Look at how the cops got rid of this guy. <laughs> they just hit him with their car. Yeah, it was a little. Yeah, it was, a little it was like, wow. I, I looked at that and was mm -hmm. like, oof. You can't explain hotel rooms and, and nice dinners when you're just like, I'm, I'm not feeling too well. $300 dinner in a hotel? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Wow. Oof. That uh, mm. you got to give it to her for that Oof. one. That's, I believe there was also. Wait a minute. Was you, was, See, the, this was, was that bad the evidence? Too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do you, it was. Oh, yeah, it was what it was. I, I didn't deny that there was you know, something going on. Wow. But uh, she was also mad because she circled one thing. It was a restaurant I had gone to. But where'd you go to eat? McDonald's? Where somebody didn't go, where's Jill Nicolini, Anthony? Dude, do you think I would go to McDonald's? Where, where did you go where they didn't know you and, and it was wait, like... Wait, wait, wait. Uh, they, do, they know me down at this place. It's a, it's a very nice restaurant. They do know me down there, and they're they're very discreet. They oh, keep the their mouths shut. Okay, okay. Yeah, but you yeah. jumped in. How's, how's the Italian food here? They wouldn't say anything to you to embarrass you or no. make you uncomfortable. No, no, they know. No one's they know who I am. But Anthony was on to something. Then Patrice kind of it was uh, in yeah. There. So it was circled that that, and then she realized that I had been to that restaurant the next day with her. <laughs> so she goes, "You took." One of your whores to the same restaurant the day before you took me. <laughs> I had to test it out to see if it was good enough for you. <laughs> they might have poisoned the food. Yeah, I didn't want you to get food poisoning. <laughs> and, and and Anthony probably went, hey, Jill, try the uh, veal. I had it yesterday. With oh, it's oh, fantastic. It's great. <laughs> All right. Yeah, don't you know you recommend it? No, don't have that. It's no good here. How do you know? Uh, I heard. All right. We can get back to this. But look, Colin is hanging around. He's got like a TV appearance, but he's hanging around because he wants to see David do kosher sports. Is that true, Colin? All right. What you want to you want to comment? Get on mic there. We got the intro and everything for uh, intern Dave. It's time for kosher sports with our host, intern David. I, I got to start with Colin. Uh, David is putting his David. headphones on. David, yeah. you'll all be dead now if it wasn't my David. For some reason, Colin loves this bit. Why, Colin? I don't know. I was here the first day it was on. It was a, I knew it was a hit right away. Yeah. And David's got a real look for those that can't see him. He looks like he'd be in, like, oh. Barracks 3 at the Schwitz, you know? <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, geez, the Schwitz. <laughs> uh, he, what's up, Patrice? He's just so Jewish. He, he still has pyramid brick dust on his fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody so Jewish looking. Isn't he like very, very Jewish? Good God, it bothers me, man. We've learned so much about um, about the Jewish culture through him. Many's a freezing night Patrice's family spent on that. <laughs> when the heat got cut off by one of David's relatives. <laughs> David. Oh. That's really funny, Pyramid Brick Dust. That's really funny. Oh, boy, oh is boy. he? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Jesus just made this. It's like, what? what, what? Wow. Oh. He's very, um, very Jewish. Wow. Yeah. We want him to, like, David. grow the, grow the payas or something. He was born. Yeah. His last name was MD. Like, he was born. <laughs> <laughs> he was born just with a Jewish title. <laughs> Most people uh, put on their little thing why they want to be an intern for the show, and it's usually to get into radio or some form of radio. He put to control the media. <laughs> that's, uh, that's what his goal is. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Uh, yeah. Oh, David. my God. You'd all be dead if it wasn't for my son, David. My David. David. <sighs> yes. It was Area 51. Area 51. <laughs> you knew then. You knew then. And you did nothing. <laughs> All right, Judge Hirsch, you, you over-the-top Jew. You, you knew then. You knew then. Every sheet on that script must have just said, more over-the-top Jewish, Jewish, please. You're not being oh. Jewy enough. Mm. David. David. You have, uh, have you, you spoken to your parents about the show? Any fallout or... I spoken to them. Is it a problem? Well, I think we should reverse that. They've spoken to me about the show. Uh-huh. <laughs> ah, what do they think? Uh, uh, have they have they seen the video yet of you uh, fooling around with the porn star? They don't want to see that video. There's a great video. It's on YouTube. What's the search? Uh, Patrice, we set him up so bad. We had Lisa Sparks. She's a porn star with massive uh, boobs. And it got to the point where we got David to do a lot of stuff with her. And she even said, I got a husband, but he's back in wherever. Kentucky. Kentucky. Kentucky and, and I'm not into that anymore. Don't worry. You have nothing to worry about. And then so he's really getting into it with Lisa Sparks. And we had a guy play the jealous husband come running into the studio. Oh. And this guy pretty much crapped his pants. The video is, is pretty good. Small piece. Yeah. Did you tell your parents about that? I told my parents. And? Not good. Not good, huh? No, not good. 
Wait till we dress you up as the baby Jesus around Christmas time. <laughs> You're gonna love that one. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Whoa. Oi, oi, oi. He actually, uh, uh, he is. Who said that he's old school Jewish? Yeah, he's so Jewish. It's like yeah. Jewish people should be Ronnie. offended that he's this Jewish. Like <laughs> <Thank you. Yeah. laughs> he's Ron, offensively the- Jewish. Like if I wrote him being a Jew, <laughs> I would get sued by Jews. I'd be out the business for creating him. Yeah. Ron, Ronnie said he's Jewish from like 1920. He's like such an old school Jewish guy, but he's you know young guy. Very. Uh, all right, Thank you, Jewish. Anything else we want to ask him before he does his kosher sports? Not really, I <laughs> guess, huh? <laughs> Patricia, well, right over there. I can't believe this, man. God, how long have you been here? Why? Yeah, a couple oh, weeks. I've only been here for like thousands a week. of like, years. Patrice. I think this is my fifth day here. Fifth. Uh, He's already a star on the show. Uh, Definitely, uh, which is making a lot of people around here pissed off. Uh, uh, yeah, certain, in, certain. I'm sure. in, Certain interns are getting uncomfortable with that, yes. Oh. <laughs> uh, E-Rock's not an intern. <laughs> E-Rock's, not, E-Rock's not the one I was referring to. No. Well, he's, we yes, and he's joke. Mr. Literal. Yes. Yeah. He will never, he can't, he cannot identify sarcasm. I'm referring to... Well, a, none of them can. <laughs> I'll just say... <laughs> I'll just say a certain intern is jealous of me. Who? who? Really? Ooh. A certain intern. We'll leave it at that. Ooh. Oh, no, you're not going to. We don't call, leave it at that. What are you going to do? Call Pontius Pilate because <laughs> of the jealousy? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they were jealous of some other guy, too. <laughs> no, I am not, Colin. That man's name. <laughs> <laughs> no, I am not calling Pontius Pilate because he is dead. Oh. <laughs> the Pontius Pilate that is That would dead. be impossible. He has died. Many years ago. <laughs> I want. Mm. <laughs> okay, but... We'll get into the intern thing next time. We got to get into kosher yeah. sports because Colin's got to be on TV. Thing, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, Colin's got to go, so yes. we'll, we'll do it for him. All, All right, right, here's intern David with kosher sports. All right. Shalom, Goyim. I'm BD Dave, and welcome to the kosher sports report. Now, before I start the report, if I must say, I want to say a hearty Yasher Koach to Rebbe Patrice O'Neill, who is joining my congregation today. And he combs his hair over as if he's going bald like a Jew. <laughs> <laughs> but he has a full head of hair. Like <laughs> he's, just, he's just preparing himself for, 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 for the later years. <laughs> Never too early to start the comb over. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 All right, continue. Finish the All right. The universe. Yeah. All right. The season is kaput for the Yankees. Those schmoes lost the whole Megillah. <laughs> Joe Torre is so happy that he's doing the horror right now. <laughs> he might even blow his shofar. <laughs> In other baseball Who's news. Who's his shofar? Yeah. <laughs> the shofar, Jimmy. Oh, it's a horn. It's a horn that they blow on, on the Rosh high house. Yeah. You see, you see this kid uh, shaking. Look at that right arm. Yeah. Hey, yeah. He can't yeah. keep it still. Oh. It's not fair. It's just that's the the movement in hands makes me. He's always signing checks and contracts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's essential to the show effort. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Carpal tunnel from signing all those contracts. <laughs> all right. In other baseball news, the Red Sox beat the Indians last night in a game that was less exciting than a bris. The Red Sox better turn on the Schmoltz if they want to get into first place. Give me this Jew time in. <laughs> I know. Uh, go, go. I and, speaking of the, and speaking of the Red Sox, I'd like to take this opportunity to send a shout out to Kevin Euclid, the only Jew on the Red Sox. Oh. Let's bring one home for the chosen people, Bubba. <laughs> Read it straight. You make it a joke? <laughs> Ruin it. <laughs> Ruin it. Colin's all disappointed. Colin you're you're says, putting on No, a, I'm not. But this is being a ham. Yeah, I don't want to produce the segment, but maybe that music can cut out. <laughs> <There's a tunnel. laughs> Talk about the oversale. Jesus Christ. We knew. It's a sports we get report. It. We get it. He's Jewish. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 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 destroying the bit. <laughs> now, in basketball uh-huh. news, Knicks player Stefan Marbury is rumored to be in trouble at next week's Yeshiva training camp. Not Better. only because he has you know the what? first name of a Yalda, but also because some washed-up Kanish 
thinks his game is Meshuggah and should be replaced. All Marbury cares about is getting his gelt anyway. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. <laughs> this kid is amazing. And in sports-related news, the OJ better start studying the Talmud because stealing is a sin. What part of thou shalt not don't you understand? Schwarze. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oy vey, is he going to beat another trial? <laughs> now please, please everybody, let's all bow our heads and join me in a prayer so that Drek gets what's coming to him. Baruch. Oh my God. He's, he's going to be flying soon. Are you okay, buddy? <laughs> oh, poor Asher thing. The Nitzvotar. This Ivanu. O.J. Simpson. God bless you. You just keep going. We didn't hear it. Yeah, no one heard okay, you because Patricia's trying okay. to make okay. jokes. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, we're just starting. <laughs> just I can't mean, stop. <laughs> and you should be making jokes, Patrice. <laughs> the kids should uh, have a little timing. <laughs> All right, you got to back up a little bit to the prayer thing. Okay, we're going to do the whole joke again. Mm. Oh, are we? Yes. All right. Jeez. In sports-related news, the O.J. better start studying the Talmud because stealing is a sin. What part of thou shalt not don't you understand? Man. Oy vey, is he going to beat another trial? Now, please, everyone, let's all bow our heads and join me in a prayer so that Drek gets what's coming to him. Baruch Ata Hashem, Eloheinu, Melech HaOlam, Asher Kiddushanu, Mitzvotav, Vitzivanu, O.J. Simpson. Hmm, I was kidding. And that's today's Kosher Sports Report. I'm BD Dave, the too cool for the room Jew. <laughs> we just lost Ahmadinejad as a listener. <laughs> <laughs> but since he was in town. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if he heard that on his way to the airport? <laughs> I told you, the Zionists. <laughs> Zionists, full of hate. <laughs> Colin's first time on uh, TV in months, and now you're going to blow it because you had to stick around for this. I'm glad I stuck around for it. All right, kosher oh. sports. So what did you think, day. Colin? Nice it, what did you think of the report? I think it was. I think you were pushing it a little bit. I don't think yeah. anyone. I don't think the music should be cut out, and I think you were trying to think it was humorous instead of reading it as straight sports. Yeah, you but gotta, it was still good. You got to play the straight person there. It's a straight sports announcement. Yeah, there you, you go. You kept like hitting yeah. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're like, ah, cha, 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 yeah. at the end of everything. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm, right. I was trying to emphasize the Jewish, the Jewish we word. Got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it could be subtle. To, yeah. There's yeah. subtlety to oh, it. Oh, okay. Believe me, you don't have to emphasize being Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> you are like, Not being Jewish, just the Jewish phrase. Well, exactly. You don't have oh, to emphasize see, anything you didn't Jewish. Understand. Just the <laughs> fact that you're like a, a straight-armed literal psychopath is very entertaining about you. <laughs> straight-armed. <laughs> <laughs> you are a straight-armed fool. Uh, His elbow bend. doesn't bend. I saw that, Jim. No. He's so scared yeah. of giving the old Adolf that he just keeps his arms to his side. <laughs> he can't even hail a cab. <laughs> Bye, Carl. Bye, right, Bye, Colin. Bye, Colin. Bye, Colin. Colin's out. Intern Dave, you're out. Kosher Sports, right. thank you. Thank uh, you, a lot, David. A lot of people want to see the, the video that you're starring in uh, on YouTube. Intern Dave gets terrified on Opie and Anthony. You'll all be dead now if it wasn't my David. That's right. More with Patrice O'Neill. But first, uh, in case you missed it earlier, primetime gossip with Sam Roberts. Oh. We're back with more primetime gossip. Just when you thought the Anthelini Express had come to a halt, not so fast. We found out that the relationship became complicated recently when Joe found a friend of Anthony's who was hanging out in his closet. But before the two could call it quits, Anthony has one more assignment that he needs to complete. What we learned was that uh, a couple things left Anthony's house that shouldn't have left the house after the breakup. Yeah. And for Anthony to get these items back that he really wants back. I must exchange uh, goods and services. Right. Uh, you have to pick up $500 worth of dry cleaning or yes, something like that. Yes, worth of dry cleaning. And, 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 and buy a new camera. And a new digital camera. That's right. Dry cleaning and electronics. I'm sure that's a piece of cake for such a fancy radio millionaire. And everyone's wondering, how did it go, Anthony? Well, it went uh, very uh, smoothly. I had no problems whatsoever. There wasn't any arguments. Very good. Um, uh, 
because uh -huh. I didn't go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the trip was just too much for Mr. Anthony to make. Luckily, he was able to acquire the services of his manservant, Keith, and after nearly a week, gave an update on the property exchange situation. Is it over? Did the hostage, ex hostage ex uh, exchange take place? Well, okay. uh, uh, Keith yeah. uh, was over the house yesterday supervising some uh, construction. Okay. And um, he reminded me of the situation. I uh, got some cash, and uh, apparently Keith is going to take care of the exchange. Gonna. That's right. The exchange still has not taken place. And why? Is Anthony still hanging on to those shiny memories of the days of Anthelini? Or is he just lazy? We can't be sure, but in the meantime, Anthony is building a secret extension onto his magical castle for his mystery guest. Building a hidden closet, a hatch, a secret, a false wall in the back of the closet that can be opened up with a press of a button. Maybe he really is just lazy, but looking into the future, and maybe don't give the next one your house key and alarm codes. Keep it locked as PTG will be back with all the latest breaking news in and around the Opie and Anthony universe.